We're in the catacombs of San Gennaro in Napoli, Italy. This is one of the most complex scanning jobs that we've ever had at Global Digital Heritage. It's a huge project, a huge archaeological site with thousands and thousands of small chambered tombs that mostly are in the dark. To accomplish such a project, we needed the help of a number of teams from around the world. A team from the University of Naples Oriental has joined us. The Zamani project came to join us from South Africa. We brought in other partners from Germany and Spain to help us solve this immense problem of documenting the catacombs of San Gennaro. Uh, no, one more, one more, yep. So we made contact with uh, Global Digital Heritage a few months ago and uh, we decided we need to find out how we can collaborate. And uh, this culminated in this project here in Italy, which is a fantastic site. And the whole, the whole aim of this project is to get to know each other and um, to have an exchange of ideas, exchange of um, knowledge, and um, meet great people. I started working with the Global Digital Heritage uh, the summer of uh, 2019. In that occasion, I've learned many, many, many things about the photo modeling and photogrammetry and so on. So um, this is a, an occasion for me to improve myself and my, my job. This project required the use of a number of different technologies, a number of technologies that we'd, we'd never used or never tried to integrate. 1,115 scans produced with two different models of ZNF scanners and two Faro S70s. These scanning data were collected sometimes in pitch black conditions. So the scans were mostly done in black and white, except in lighted areas or areas with frescoes where we were able to use artificial light. We organized all these data into one massive model using reality capture. It's not perfect, but when you consider with 7,000 square meters of small niches, ancillary rooms, hallways, dark conditions, we're very proud of how it turned out. And we could not have done this without using reality capture to integrate all of these different kinds of data. So scanning the catacombs of San Gennaro is really complex for a number of reasons. Um, firstly, the sheer size or scale of the, of the catacombs is, uh, takes a lot of time to scan. Having four scanners on, on site is uh, pretty challenging. Um, just trying to decide who's going to scan where, making sure you don't miss any geometry. So having a, a light on your scanner is a good thing. It's going to help with aligning the photogrammetry with the laser scan data. Yeah, we're hoping to get a great, great model out of this. Our work in particular is to create a 3D reconstruction of some niches which are decorated with the frescoes on the mosaic. But also we are trying to, to test some new technology and for this reason we use a thermal camera in order to measure the temperature in order to enhance the difference inside this, this fresco. Uh, we use uh, another technology called the uh, RTI, uh, Reflectance Transformation Imaging. Uh, so it's possible to highlight, uh, to enhance, uh, the, to improve also the reading of uh, graffito and uh, so on. One of the important aspects of the catacombs of San Gennaro, what makes them most historically significant, are the frescoes and a few mosaics. The frescoes, the majority of which produced between the first century uh, of the Common Era and the fifth century of the Common Era, are considered Paleo-Christian, some of the earliest Christian frescoes anywhere in the world. We documented these with over 50,000 photos. 
using seven different cameras of five different resolutions. We then used the scan data, three to five scans per fresco, to scale the models, integrated them with the photos in reality capture, and produced 3D models of all of the different frescoes, which you can now see on Sketchfab. We use D-Stretch in a number of different ways. On a quick, basic way, we can take the texture right out of Reality Capture, run it through D-Stretch, retexture the fresco, and get a new imagery. Or we can run the photos all individually through D-Stretch at different kinds of chromatic metric expressions, and then retexture the items, the imagery, and see things that couldn't be seen before. And so we produced D-Stretch models in reality capture, again using the scans for scale, of every fresco and mosaic in the entire catacombs and produce these for Sketchfab and, and other things. Now we are uh, in the lower part of the catacombs and behind me you see this uh, equipment, the total station, that we use uh, uh, to measure some points. And after we will uh, give uh, these coordinates to our colleague in order to better align their data set. This is a complex project uh, and sometimes things go wrong, but here we can see that uh, everything has been going very well. And I think it's, it's, a, it's a great challenge that is turning into a great project. This has been a great opportunity for Global Digital Heritage, the ability to partner with some really key laboratories and research groups from around the world to solve really one of the great scanning projects of all time, the Catacombs of San Gennaro.